This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. You're watching Expresso. We're live on three. If you're wondering why I'm speaking like this, this is my game show voice. Now it's time for the Simply Asia Walk Off Challenge with my boy Ewan on the left and my boy Katleja Mabue on the right. Now before we even get to the Walk Off Challenge, if you've missed out on any of the challenges that these two have been busy with, this is what you've been missing out on. When we paired Kat and Ewan up for a simple tongue-tied quiz back in June, we had no idea just how competitive the two would get. It's been, there's been a lot of like purring going on from Kat's side. I don't know what's that all about. Listen, okay. that's don't, more, don't it was very talk. It was very gentle. It was very, I don't know, not very competitive. Don't smack talk. They had to wrap their tongues around some tricky Thai dish names. Bami Big Bao. Okay. Bami Big Bao. Bami Big Bao. Bami Big Bao. And Cat won round one. The competition heated up even more during the chopsticks challenge. 225, Cat <laughs> Lego! is our winner! And Cat's fingers were fastest. But then it was down to a numbers game, and Cat's confidence from his last two wins was his downfall. I add up the numbers. <laughs> Yuan kept his cool and spun his way to a comeback victory. I am the winner. The winner. I am the winner. For once, I am yes. the winner. Sorry. I'm sorry, Kat. <laughs> Congratulations! Sorry. This is mine. Yes. And it will stay mine. Yes. Enjoy yes. your stay very short-lived victory, boy. It will stay mine. Big Daddy gonna be back. Can, can you see the overconfidence oozing out of Kat? Last week's Tuk Tuk Challenge was an epic race of running, Tuk Tuks and uh, wrestling. But when the points were tallied up, Ewan brought the overall score to a tie, tie. With one challenge left to determine the ultimate Simply Asia Challenge winner. Let's get ready to rumble. And today it is time for our final challenge, the Walk Off Challenge with Simply Asia. Now, Chef Lucky over here, our Simply Asia chef, he will make sure that he does all the judging. I will do all the commentating this morning between Ewan and Katlejo Mabue. Well, here are some of the rules for our Walk Off Challenge this morning. Uh, whoever prepares the dish overall wins. Chef Lucky will be judging technique, appearance, and flavor. So he'll be tasting each of these dishes to make sure that it's the closest to that Simply Asia flavor. Also, you each have two minutes to cook this amazing amazing dish. Also, you've each been provided with the exact ingredients. It's not measured, so you need to use your own discretion in order to prepare this dish. The winner will be announced, and of course, you will be the Simply Asia Challenge winner of the world with this trophy. Yes, I said with this trophy. With this trophy. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and gentlemen, your walk off challenge starts now! Okay, go for it. Katlejo, what are you doing first? Getting my oil in there, gotta get okay, a healthy some dollop oil of oil in there. Your pan is nice and hot. Start you went, smoking. how are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Okay, he's turning it down turning a little up, bit. Get it all Chef the way Lucky, the pan. what are you seeing? Because you gotta walk it off. Give me that. And now, of course, it's all about the technique. This is going to be the final round. Spread it all around. Chef Lucky having a look. Three. Katleko, what are you doing now? So right now, I'm waiting for my chicken to cook through properly before adding okay, the rest of the ingredients. Okay, you have one minute, 30 seconds left of your wok challenge. Keep cooking. Come on, Ewan. How are you doing? Good. I'm fantastic. Okay, I see I'm some focused. fire this side. Katleko, I yeah. think you should start adding your other ingredients. No, no I want them to be fresh. Ewan, I want them to be fresh. I'm fantastic. Focus, Chef Lucky, focus. what do you see? What do you see? Is it good or bad? Good, very it's good. good, very good. It's all about Lucky's having the freshest, the freshest ingredients, baby. Yeah. So I want to keep my veggies nice and crisp so when you eat them, they're nice and crunchy and they've got the flavor still in them. Okay, because Chef Lucky is going to be judging. Just so that you know, Simply Asia has theater kitchens all around. So you can watch the Simply Asia chefs cook the same way that you and Anne Katlejo is doing this morning. Also, be sure to keep a lookout for the Simply Asia's newest special. It's available from Monday the 1st of September. But nothing gets more special than these two cooking in the kitchen for the final round of our Simply Asia cook-off. It's coming up to about 30 seconds. We want to know how far the guys are because soon we're going to need to taste. Chef Lucky, how's it looking here with Katlejo Mabue? It's very nice it's now. Good, good. How's it looking here with Ewan? Have a look. It's okay. It's okay, very good. Yeah, okay. It's okay, very good. That means, uh, yeah, it's maybe not that My good. My stove's moving. What's going on? Put it back. Guys, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. Okay, you have to 
stop cooking. Okay. Stop cooking. Okay, Chef Lucky, <sighs> this is the final challenge. I've just called the clock. You win and Catlejo has stopped cooking. It's time to taste. Do you play it up now? Okay, yes. Play it up, please. Play it up. Okay, just quickly get my... Here we go. Uh, you need some help there. I can't help I'm you cool, guys. I'm cool. Where's my plate? Thank you very much. Here's your plate. Okay. Just don't, don't burn, don't burn. Okay, Sorry, Chef Lucky's moving burn. your plate closer, right. Catlejo. You weren't doing well here. He's plating up. Oh, it smells good in here, huh? It does smell it really, amazing. Really, uh, again, that's Simply Asia special coming to you on the 1st of September, so you have to look out for that. But my mouth's watering. I'm salivating here because you guys have actually done really well. Katlejo, what was your secret ingredient for this morning? What have you added that you think you and doesn't add? Well, my thing is we had the discretion to add as much of the roasted chili paste as we wanted to. Yeah. So I wanted to make my dish as authentically Thai as possible. Ah, so okay. I, I added a quite a healthy dollop of it, okay. which I'm hoping that when you know the chef tastes, it'll give a nice little you know healthy bite. A nice little healthy um, bite. Okay. You and how are you finishing yours off? What I'm have just, you done differently this morning? You know what? I've just added a little bit of. Um, Thai fish sauce with a little bit of chili inside, just to give it a little bit of an extra kick. Yeah. Finishing off with some garnish, with some, some dry chili flakes as well. And I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, you're gonna leave it there. Now, of course, our winner for this morning walks away with the Simply Asia trophy. They will be the ultimate winner of the Simply Asia uh, challenge. Now, we've had many challenges up until now. Today, the walk off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to taste. Chef Lucky, I'm gonna move out of the way. Please taste. Katlejo Mabue's dish first. Oh, okay. You can taste Ewan's first. <laughs> yeah. Please go for it. All eyes on Chef Lucky at this stage. He's taking a little bite. It's burny, it's hot. His eyes are watering. He smiles. I don't know if that was a nod of approval. Chef Lucky, or what not, did you but... think of that? Mm, it smells nice, tastes nice. Okay, it smells nice okay. and it tastes nice. Eh, it's good. Okay, all, all right. right. Please, all right. taste Katlejo Mabue's dish. He takes a bite. He's thinking. He's tasting. And Chef Lucky says... Mmm... Little bit taste, but not, not, not too much sauce. Not too much sauce, okay. Please choose a winner. And the winner is... Is... Woo! <laughs> we have our reigning champion for our Simply Asia Waffle Challenge. You and oh, wow. what do you want to say to all your fans and everyone watching me, right now? Let me tell you, we saw that little bit of a recap as to where this whole thing started. And the story of the hare and the tortoise comes to mind right now. <laughs> Katlejo kicked off. He kicked dust in my eyes. Kept dust, but I kept persevering. And I'm standing as the victor right now. Okay, Turning well, in. it sounds good to me. Katlejo, what do you want to say at this stage? Congratulations to you. And you see, that's a true winner speaking. <laughs> that was very tough for him to say. That was very no, hard. No, no, hold on, hold on. I've, I've never made any kickstart or made any dust about you. Uh, about While you, these so two fight it out Take behind it. me, it's yeah. time to go from Ooh. one winner to another. Simply Asia and Expresso recently ran a fantastic competition for viewers. To enter, all you had to do was snap a selfie with your favorite dish. We were inundated with selfies, and our four winners were treated to a Thai banquet to share with friends. Couple Jitesh and Yvonne struck it lucky when they both won. I thought it was exciting. I wasn't expecting to win, I must be honest. Um, you often enter these competitions and you never win. And when I saw my name on Facebook, it was super exciting. <laughs> Yeah, and it was funny because I wasn't in the country, I was in London, and I just get an email to say that we won. So I'm like, who won? Did you win? Did I win? Oh no, we won. I'm like, no way. Did both our entries win? She's like, yeah. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> Guests tucked into a delicious spread prepared by Simply Asia's authentic Thai chefs, who are the only ones to get Jatesha's daughter to eat her veggies. My daughter absolutely loves broccoli. And she fell in love with broccoli because of Simply Asia. She doesn't like greens otherwise, but when we started coming out often, she loved the food. It's, it's nourishing, it's fresh, quite healthy. So I'd rather get her here than take her to some other fast food. It's a healthy environment. While one banquet was just getting started, another was heating up as winner Larissa LaRue and her friends tucked into a Thai feast. 
The reason why I chose these guys over here is that they are my closest friends and family and we are all massive Simply Asia fans. So when we won this competition, we were all extremely excited to come here and actually share this meal together. My favorite dish is the cashew nut stir fry 514. The little cashew nut is just absolutely delicious. I was so excited when Larissa asked me to come tonight because I simply love Simply Asia and I love Asian food. We were really grateful when you got the invite uh, because it's always good to enjoy the best in cuisine and good company and uh, have a free meal. Claiming to be Simply Asia's youngest die-hard fan, Anissa's daughter won her a family feast in Durban. Her biggest weakness is the molten chocolate Thai Angels triangles. When I found out that I won, I felt over the moon, absolutely ecstatic because I love Simply Asia. It's delicious and fun. My favorite part of the Espresso show is Ewan. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Ewan. Um, but uh, I enjoy the cooking as well. It just inspires me each day. To sum it up, Espresso is the best way to start my day. Why not enjoy your own Thai banquet with Simply Asia's new deals? Order the Crowd Pleaser, available until the 21st of August 2014. Two starters, four mouth-watering main meals, plus four Cokes for only 319 Rand. Or the double feature if you're looking for a Thai for two. One starter, two mains and two Cokes for only 169 Rand. Did you know at Simply Asia you can choose your Red Star hotness level? Mild, medium or hot or Thai style? You decide. Simply Asia. Authentic Thai made simple.